Germanium is a chemical element with symbol J and atomic number 32. It is a lustrous, hard, grayish white metalloid in the carbon group, chemically similar to its group neighbors tin and silicon. Pure germanium is a semiconductor with an appearance similar to elemental silicon. Like silicon, germanium naturally reacts and forms complexes with oxygen in nature. Because it seldom appears in high concentration, germanium was discovered comparatively late in the history of chemistry. Germanium ranks near 50th in relative abundance of the elements in the Earth's crust. In 1869, Dmitry Mendeleev predicted its existence and some of its properties from its position on his periodic table, and called the element eicosilicon. Nearly two decades later, in 1886, Clemens Winkler found the new element along with silver and sulfur, in a rare mineral called argyrodite. Although the new element somewhat resembled arsenic and antimony in appearance, the combining ratios in compounds agreed with Mendeleev s predictions for a relative of silicon. Winkler named the element after his country, Germany. Today, germanium is mined primarily from sphalerite, the primary ore of zinc, though germanium is also recovered commercially from silver, lead, and copper ores. Elemental germanium is used as a semiconductor in transistors and various other electronic devices. Historically, the first decade of semiconductor electronics was based entirely on germanium. Today, the amount of germanium produced for semiconductor electronics is 1 50th the amount of ultra-high purity silicon produced for the same. Presently, the major end uses are fiber optic systems, infrared optics, solar cell applications, and light-emitting diodes LEDs. Germanium compounds are also used for polymerization catalysts and have most recently found use in the production of nanowires. This element forms a large number of organometallic compounds, such as tetraethylgermane, useful in organometallic chemistry. Germanium is not thought to be an essential element for any living organism. Some complex organic germanium compounds are being investigated as possible pharmaceuticals, though none have yet proven successful. Similar to silicon and aluminum, natural germanium compounds tend to be insoluble in water and thus have little oral toxicity. However, synthetic soluble germanium salts are nephrotaxic, and synthetic chemically reactive germanium compounds with halogens and hydrogen are irritants and toxins. History In his report on the periodic law of the chemical elements in 1869, the Russian chemist Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev predicted the existence of several unknown chemical elements, including one that would fill a gap in the carbon family in his periodic table of the elements, located between silicon and tin. Because of its position in his periodic table, Mendeleev called it eicosilicon S, and he estimated its atomic weight to be about 72.0. In mid-1885, at a mine near Freiburg, Saxony, a new mineral was discovered and named argyrodite because of the high silver content. The chemist Clemens Winkler analyzed this new mineral, which proved to be a combination of silver, sulfur, and a new element. Winkler was able to isolate the new element in 1886 and found it similar to antimony. He initially considered the new element to be aca antimony, but was soon convinced that it was instead aca silicon. Before Winkler published his results on the new element, he decided that he would name his element Neptunium, since the recent discovery of planet Neptune in 1846 had similarly been preceded by mathematical predictions of its existence. However, the name, Neptunium, had already been given to another proposed chemical element though not the element that today bears the name Neptunium, which was discovered in 1940. So instead, Winkler named the new element germanium from the Latin word, germania, for Germany in honor of his homeland. Argyrodite proved empirically to be Ag-8 germanium sulfide. Because this new element showed some similarities with the elements arsenic and antimony, its proper place in the periodic table was under consideration, but its similarities with Dmitry Mendeleev's predicted element confirmed that place on the periodic table. With further material from 500 kg of ore from the mines in Saxony, Winkler confirmed the chemical properties of the new element in 1887. 
He also determined an atomic weight of 72.32 by analyzing pure germanium tetrachloride, germanium chloride, while Lecoq de Boisbaudrin deduced 72.3 by a comparison of the lines in the spark spectrum of the element. Winkler was able to prepare several new compounds of germanium, including fluorides, chlorides, sulfides, dioxide, and tetraethylgermane C2H54, the first organogermane. The physical data from those compounds which corresponded well with Mendeleev's predictions made the discovery an important confirmation of Mendeleev's idea of element periodicity. Here is a comparison between the prediction and Winkler's data Until the late 1930s, germanium was thought to be a poorly conducting metal. Germanium did not become economically significant until after 1945 when its properties as an electronic semiconductor were recognized. During World War II, small amounts of germanium were used in some special electronic devices, mostly diodes. The first major use was the point contact Schottky diodes for radar pulse detection during the war. The first silicon germanium alloys were obtained in 1955. Before 1945, only a few hundred kilograms of germanium were produced in smelters each year, but by the end of the 1950s, the annual worldwide production had reached 40 metric tons. The development of the germanium transistor in 1948 opened the door to countless applications of solid state electronics. From 1950 through the early 1970s, this area provided an increasing market for germanium, but then high-purity silicon began replacing germanium in transistors, diodes, and rectifiers. For example, the company that became Fairchild Semiconductor was founded in 1957 with the express purpose of producing silicon transistors. Silicon has superior electrical properties, but it requires much greater purity that could not be commercially achieved in the early years of semiconductor electronics. Meanwhile, the demand for germanium for fiber optic communication networks, infrared night vision systems, and polymerization catalysts increased dramatically. These end uses represented 85% of worldwide germanium consumption in 2000. The U.S. government even designated germanium as a strategic and critical material, calling for a 146-ton supply in the national defense stockpile in 1987. Germanium differs from silicon in that the supply is limited by the availability of exploitable sources, while the supply of silicon is limited only by production capacity since silicon comes from ordinary sand and quartz. While silicon could be bought in 1998 for less than $10 per kilogram, the price of germanium was almost $800 per kilogram. Characteristics Under standard conditions, germanium is a brittle, silvery-white, semi-metallic element. This form constitutes an allotrope known as alpha-germanium, which has a metallic luster and a diamond cubic crystal structure, the same as diamond. At pressures above 120 kilobars, it becomes the allotrope beta germanium with the same structure as beta tin. Like silicon, gallium, bismuth, antimony, and water, germanium is one of the few substances that expands as it solidifies, i.e., freezes from the molten state. Germanium is a semiconductor. Zone refining techniques have led to the production of crystalline germanium for semiconductors that has an impurity of only one part in 1010 making it one of the purest materials ever obtained. The first metallic material discovered in 2005 to become a superconductor in the presence of an extremely strong electromagnetic field was an alloy of germanium, uranium, and rhodium. Pure germanium suffers from the forming of whiskers by spontaneous screw dislocations. If a whisker grows long enough to touch another part of the assembly or a metallic packaging, it can effectively shunt out a PN junction. This is one of the primary reasons for the failure of old germanium diodes and transistors. Chemistry Elemental germanium oxidizes slowly to germanium oxide at 250 degrees Celsius. Germanium is insoluble in dilute acids and alkalis but dissolves slowly in hot concentrated sulfuric and nitric acids and reacts violently with molten alkalis to produce germinates germanium oxide Germanium occurs mostly in the oxidation state plus 4 although many plus 2 compounds are known. 
Other oxidation states are rare, plus 3 is found in compounds such as germanium chloride, and plus 3 and plus 1 are found on the surface of oxides, or negative oxidation states in germanes, such as minus 4 in germanium hydride. Germanium cluster anions such as J42-, J94-, J92-, J9-2-6- have been prepared by the extraction from alloys containing alkali metals and germanium in liquid ammonia in the presence of ethylene diamine or a krypton. The oxidation states of the element in these ions are not integers similar to the ozonides O3-. Two oxides of germanium are known, germanium dioxide germanium oxide, germania, and germanium monoxide geo. The dioxide, germanium oxide can be obtained by roasting germanium disulfide germanium sulfide, and is a white powder that is only slightly soluble in water but reacts with alkalis to form germinates. The monoxide, germanus oxide, can be obtained by the high temperature reaction of germanium oxide with J metal. The dioxide and the related oxides and germinates exhibits the unusual property of having a high refractive index for visible light, but transparency to infrared light. Bismuth germinate, Bi4 germanium oxide, BGO, is used as a scintillator. Binary compounds with other calcogens are also known, such as the disulfide, germanium sulfide, diselenide, germanium selenide, and the monosulfide, Jess, selenide, germanium selenide, and telluride, germanium telluride. Germanium sulfide forms as a white precipitate when hydrogen sulfide is passed through strongly acid solutions containing J IV. The disulfide is appreciably soluble in water and in solutions of caustic alkalis or alkaline sulfides. Nevertheless, it is not soluble in acidic water, which allowed Winkler to discover the element. By heating the disulfide in a current of hydrogen, the monosulfide is formed, which sublimes in thin plates of a dark color and metallic luster, and is soluble in solutions of the caustic alkalis. Upon melting with alkaline carbonates and sulfur, germanium compounds form salts known as thiogerminates. Four tetrahalides are known. Under normal conditions germanium iodide is a solid, germanium fluoride a gas and the others volatile liquids. For example, germanium tetrachloride, germanium chloride, is obtained as a colorless fuming liquid boiling at 83.1 degrees Celsius by heating the metal with chlorine. All the tetrahalides are readily hydrolyzed to hydrated germanium dioxide. Germanium chloride is used in the production of organogermanium compounds. All four dihalides are known and in contrast to the tetrahalides are polymeric solids. Additionally germanium chloride and some higher compounds of formula GENCL2N plus 2 are known. The unusual compound germanium chloride has been prepared that contains the germanium chloride unit with a neopentane structure. Germane germanium hydride is a compound similar in structure to methane. Polygermanes Compounds that are similar to alkanes With formula Gen2N plus 2 containing up to 5 germanium atoms are known. The germanes are less volatile and less reactive than their corresponding silicon analogs. Germanium hydride reacts with alkali metals in liquid ammonia to form white crystalline MgEH3 which contain the germanium hydride minus anion. The germanium hydrohalides with 1, 2 and 3 halogen atoms are colorless reactive liquids. The first organogermanium compound was synthesized by Winkler in 1887. The reaction of germanium tetrachloride with diethyl zinc yielded tetraethylgermane J C2H5-4. Organogermanes of the type R4J, where R is an alkyl, such as tetramethylgermane J CH3-4 and tetraethylgermane are accessed through the cheapest available germanium precursor germanium tetrachloride and alkyl nucleophiles. Organic germanium hydrides such as isobutylgermane CH3 2 CHCH2 germanium hydride were found to be less hazardous and may be used as a liquid substitute for toxic germane gas in semiconductor applications. Many germanium reactive intermediates are known, germal free radicals, germalines similar to carbons, and germines similar to carbines. The organogermanium compound 2 carboxyethylgermasesquioxane was first reported in the 1970s, and for a while was used as a dietary supplement and thought to possibly have anti tumor qualities, using a ligand called IND 1, 1, 3, 3, 5, 5, 7, 7 octaethyl SHYDRINDACEN 4 YL. Germanium is able to form a double bond with oxygen. Germanone. 
Isotopes Germanium occurs in five natural isotopes, 70G, 72G, 73G, 74G, and 76G. Of these, 76G is very slightly radioactive, decaying by double beta decay with a half-life of 1.78 1,021 years. 74G is the most common isotope, having a natural abundance of approximately 36%, 76G is the least common with a natural abundance of approximately 7%. When bombarded with alpha particles, the isotope 72J will generate stable 77C, releasing high-energy electrons in the process. Because of this, it is used in combination with radon for nuclear batteries. At least 27 radioisotopes have also been synthesized, ranging in atomic mass from 58 to 89. The most stable of these is 68J, decaying by electron capture with a half-life of 270.95 days. The least stable is 60J, with a half-life of 30 ms. While most of germanium's radioisotopes decay by beta decay, 61J and 64J decay by beta plus delayed proton emission. 84J through 87J isotopes also exhibit minor beta minus delayed neutron emission decay paths. Occurrence Germanium is created by stellar nucleosynthesis, mostly by the S process in asymptotic giant branch stars. The S process is a slow neutron capture of lighter elements inside pulsating red giant stars. Germanium has been detected in some of the most distant stars and in the atmosphere of Jupiter. Germanium's abundance in the Earth's crust is approximately 1.6 ppm. Only a few minerals like argyrodite, briartite, germanite, and renierite contain appreciable amounts of germanium. Only few of them, especially germanite, are very rarely found in mineable amounts. Some zinc copper lead ore bodies contain enough germanium to justify extraction from the final ore concentrate. An unusual natural enrichment process causes a high content of germanium in some coal seams, discovered by Victor Moritz Goldschmidt during a broad survey for germanium deposits. The highest concentration ever found was in Hartley coal ash with as much as 1.6% germanium. The coal deposits near Zillenheoti, Inner Mongolia, contain an estimated 1,600 tons of germanium. Production About 118 tons of germanium was produced in 2011 worldwide, mostly in China ADT, Russia 5T, and United States 3T. Germanium is recovered as a byproduct from sphalerite zinc ores where it is concentrated in amounts as great as 0.3%, especially from low temperature sediment hosted, massive ZNPBCU deposits and carbonate hosted ZNPB deposits. A recent study found that at least 10,000 T of extractable germanium is contained in known zinc reserves, particularly those hosted by Mississippi Valley type deposits, while at least 112,000 T will be found in coal reserves. In 2007, 35% of the demand was met by recycled germanium. While it is produced mainly from sphalerite, it is also found in silver, lead, and copper ores. Another source of germanium is fly ash of power plants fueled from coal deposits that contain germanium. Russia and China used this as a source for germanium. Russia's deposits are located in the far east of Sakhalin Island, and northeast of Vladivostok. The deposits in China are located mainly in the lignite mines near Lingkang, Yunnan. Coal is also mined near Zilinheoti, Inner Mongolia. The ore concentrates are mostly sulfidic, they are converted to the oxides by heating under air in a process known as roasting. Germanium sulfide plus 3O2 Germanium oxide plus 2SO2 Some of the germanium is left in the dust produced, while the rest is converted to germinates, which are then leached, together with zinc, from the cinder by sulfuric acid. After neutralization, only the zinc stays in solution while germanium and other metals precipitate. After removing some of the zinc in the precipitate by the Wells process, the residing Wells oxide is leached a second time. The dioxide is obtained as precipitate and converted with chlorine gas or hydrochloric acid to germanium tetrachloride, which has a low boiling point and can be isolated by distillation. Germanium oxide plus 4HCl germanium chloride plus 2H2O 
Germanium oxide plus 2 Cl2 germanium chloride plus O2 germanium tetrachloride is either hydrolyzed to the oxide germanium oxide or purified by fractional distillation and then hydrolyzed. The highly pure germanium oxide is now suitable for the production of germanium glass. It is reduced to the element by reacting it with hydrogen, producing germanium suitable for infrared optics and semiconductor production. Germanium oxide plus 2H2J plus 2H2 auth germanium for steel production and other industrial processes is normally reduced using carbon. Germanium oxide plus Cj plus CO2. Applications The major end uses for germanium in 2007, worldwide, were estimated to be, 35% for fiber optics, 30% infrared optics, 15% polymerization catalysts, and 15% electronics and solar electric applications. The remaining 5% went into such uses as phosphors, metallurgy, and chemotherapy. Optics the notable properties of germania germanium oxide are its high index of refraction and its low optical dispersion. These make it especially useful for wide-angle camera lenses, microscopy, and the core part of optical fibers. It has replaced titania as the dopant for silica fiber, eliminating the subsequent heat treatment that made the fibers brittle. At the end of 2002, the fiber optics industry consumed 60% of the annual germanium use in the United States, but this is less than 10% of worldwide consumption. GESBTE is a phase change material used for its optic properties, such as that used in rewritable DVDs. Because germanium is transparent in the infrared wavelengths, it is an important infrared optical material that can be readily cut and polished into lenses and windows. It is especially used as the front optic in thermal imaging cameras working in the 8 to 14 micron range for passive thermal imaging and for hot spot detection in military, mobile night vision, and fire fighting applications. It is used in infrared spectroscopes and other optical equipment that require extremely sensitive infrared detectors. It has a very high refractive index 4.0 and must be coated with anti-reflection agents. Particularly, a very hard special anti-reflection coating of diamond-like carbon DLC, refractive index 2.0, is a good match and produces a diamond hard surface that can withstand much environmental abuse. Electronics Silicon germanium alloys are rapidly becoming an important semiconductor material for high-speed integrated circuits. Circuits utilizing the properties of CSIGE junctions can be much faster than those using silicon alone. Silicon germanium is beginning to replace gallium arsenide, gallium 3 arsenide in wireless communications devices. The SIGE chips, with high-speed properties, can be made with low-cost, well-established production techniques of the silicon chip industry. Solar panels are a major use of germanium. Germanium is the substrate of the wafers for high-efficiency multijunction photovoltaic cells for space applications. High-brightness LEDs, used for automobile headlights and to backlight LCD screens, are an important application, because germanium and gallium arsenide have very similar lattice constants. Germanium substrates can be used to make gallium arsenide solar cells. The Mars exploration rovers and several satellites use triple junction gallium arsenide on germanium cells. Germanium on insulator substrates are seen as a potential replacement for silicon on miniaturized chips. Other uses in electronics include phosphors in fluorescent lamps and solid state light emitting diodes. LEDs. Germanium transistors are still used in some effects pedals by musicians who wish to reproduce the distinctive tonal character of the fuzz. Tone from the early rock and roll era, most notably the Dallas Arbiter fuzz face. Other uses Germanium dioxide is also used in catalysts for polymerization in the production of polyethylene terephthalate The high brilliance of this polyester is especially favored for PET bottles marketed in Japan. In the United States, germanium is not used for polymerization catalysts, due to the similarity between silica silicon oxide and germanium dioxide germanium oxide. .The silica stationary phase in some gas chromatography columns can be replaced by germanium oxide. In recent years germanium has seen increasing use in precious metal alloys. 
In sterling silver alloys, for instance, it reduces fire scale, increases tarnish resistance, and improves precipitation hardening. A tarnish proof silver alloy trademarked argentium contains 1.2% germanium. Semiconductor detectors made of single crystal high purity germanium can precisely identify radiation sources, for example, in airport security. Germanium is useful for monochromators for beamlines used in single crystal neutron scattering and synchrotron X ray diffraction. The reflectivity has advantages over silicon in neutron and high energy X ray applications. Crystals of high purity germanium are used in detectors for gamma spectroscopy and the search for dark matter. Germanium crystals are also used in X ray spectrometers for the determination of phosphorus, chlorine, and sulfur. Germanium is emerging as an important material for spintronics and spin based quantum computing applications. In 2010, researchers demonstrated room temperature spin transport, and more recently, donor electron spins in germanium has been shown to have very long coherence times. Germanium and health Germanium is not considered essential to the health of plants or animals. Germanium in the environment has little or no health impact. This is primarily because it usually occurs only as a trace element in ores and carbonaceous materials, and the various industrial and electronic applications involve very small quantities that are not likely to be ingested. For similar reasons, end-use germanium has little impact on the environment as a biohazard. Some reactive intermediate compounds of germanium are poisonous see precautions, below. Germanium supplements, made from both organic and inorganic germanium, have been marketed as an alternative medicine capable of treating leukemia and lung cancer. There is, however, no medical evidence of benefit. Some evidence suggests that such supplements are actively harmful. Some germanium compounds have been administered by alternative medical practitioners as non FDA allowed injectable solutions. Soluble inorganic forms of germanium used at first, notably the citrate lactate salt, resulted in some cases of renal dysfunction, hepatic steatosis, and peripheral neuropathy in individuals using them over a long term. Plasma and urine germanium concentrations in these individuals, several of whom died, were several orders of magnitude greater than endogenous levels. A more recent organic form, beta carboxyethylgermanium sesquioxide propagermanium, has not exhibited the same spectrum of toxic effects. U.S. Food and Drug Administration research has concluded that inorganic germanium, when used as a nutritional supplement, presents potential human health hazard. Certain compounds of germanium have low toxicity to mammals, but have toxic effects against certain bacteria. Precautions for chemically reactive germanium compounds Some of germanium's artificially produced compounds are quite reactive and present an immediate hazard to human health on exposure. For example, germanium chloride and germane germanium hydride are a liquid and gas, respectively, that can be very irritating to the eyes, skin, lungs, and throat. Future As of the year 2000, about 15% of United States consumption of germanium was used for infrared optics technology and 50% for fiber optics. Over the past 20 years, infrared use has consistently decreased. Fiber optic demand, however, is slowly increasing. In America, 30 to 50% of current fiber optic lines are unused dark fiber, sparking discussion of overproduction and a future reduction in demand. Worldwide, demand is increasing dramatically as countries such as China are installing fiber optic telecommunication lines throughout the country. See also Transistor Vitrain Footnotes References External links Germanium at the Periodic Table of Videos University of Nottingham